Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about Angular 17 Structural Directives. So what are Structural Directives? Structural Directives are the directives which will add some set of logic for our elements based on some set of conditions, based on some set of looping, whatever it may be. So some logic will be applied on that particular directive. Such directives will help us to change the behavior of the current element. So that's about your structural directive. We will create a structural directive like ngif, but exactly we will not use this ngif structural directive, but instead we will try to create our custom if conditional directive. Let me go into Visual Studio Code and just remove this. And what I want to do is I want to create a directive, which is a structural directive. Structural directive and the directive can be created with the same command ng generate directive and directive name is custom if and skip hyphen test i don't want to use the test files so i am skipping this test files so now i have created this custom if directive which is again a standalone directive now what i want to do is i want to receive some set of condition and based on the condition i want to restrict or show the content whatever we are passing in that particular html so here what I'll do is let me go into app.component.html and create a paragraph. So this is shown content something like this and what I will do is I want to write some set of condition for this based on that condition it has to render the data. So for writing the condition what I'll do is I'll create a variable for us in app.component.ts and what I'll do over here is I'll create show content which is of boolean value and by default I'll make it as true because first time whenever the application launches I want to show this particular boolean value hence I'll not keep not condition because we are assigning a value so show content I can use here with a button on a button click I want to toggle this toggle show content and I'll create a click event on this click and here I can pass show content which is equal to not of show content. That means I am just making true to false and false to true. So now I want to make this condition basis for this paragraph, but I want to use custom if condition. So if I want to use that, what I can do is I can copy this app custom if and I'll make it as input decorator at the rate input decorator and I'll make it as required because we need it mandatorily. So I will make it as required as true and this can be achieved in two ways by using a setter functions or by using ng on changes first i'll show you with ng on changes so now here what we can do is i can assign some boolean value so let me use a boolean value now what i'll do is i require two services for this one is private template ref and that is having a template ref service which is a generic template so I can use any and now let me use private one more thing that is nothing but view container ref and this view container ref will have view container ref service so we'll talk more about this view container ref in the upcoming videos for creating a dynamic content we can use this view container ref that is the simple logic behind view container ref so what i can do is i can create this by changing the condition for example i am creating an ng on changes so what i'll do is i'll implement on changes and the lifecycle hook is ng on changes and here what I can do is I can apply my conditions. So how I can apply the condition is if my this dot app custom if condition is true, I want to create the or embed my template. So for embedding the template, I have the reference for our view container ref dot there is something called as create embedded view. So we are creating an embedded view on this and for which template this is my template ref. So this is how we can embed our view embed in the sense we are just pulling that template ref and putting in our view container. So let me go with else condition. So if the condition is false, then I don't want to have any view container ref. So that's why I'm clearing that particular ref. So let me save this. 
Now I don't need these changes. It is an optional case. Let me remove this. So from directive side, we are done. I can use this app custom if in my HTML. So let me go here. And whenever you are using a structural directive, you have to tell the directive I am using a structural way. So that's why you are using a star symbol. And this will receive a condition. And the condition is show content. Let me copy this show content and put it over here. Save this. Go to the browser and you can see toggle show content and let me go into app.ts we did not import that particular directive let me import this directive let me go to this app that is custom if directive and put it over here import it save this now go here you can see this is shown content let me click on this let me click on this it is just toggling my content that means it is removing my paragraph and it is adding my paragraph based on the condition so that is about your structural directive so here the structural directive i made by using ng on changes there is an another approach by using setter method so how can i do that so by using this as not a simple variable or simple property what i will do is i will make it as a method that is setter method so let me add a set method for this so instead of doing this what i'll do is i'll receive the value as a boolean value and then i'll write this condition so let me copy this condition or cut this condition and put it over here so instead of using app custom info or custom if condition i can use this value condition that's it it is invoking with the setter method instead of using ng on changes so i can remove this ng on changes now and remove these implements as well so now we have changed that with a setter method let me go and verify this let me go here and reload once click this you can see they are working as usual so you can use either ng on changes or you can use any setter method so this is about your structural directives like this you can create any type of structural directives which you can use in your application and this structural directives will also help us in creating a customized view for our application and we discussed two new things one is template ref and one is view container ref so we'll talk about view container ref and template ref in the upcoming videos for this video the structural directives is good enough and hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you